Hello and welcome to DTWG the prep welcome. So in today's video, we're going to find um, the total surface area of a pyramid. So, you know, we're going to learn how to find this. Okay, and we have the pyramid here. Here, the pyramid has a base and the base is a square. Okay, if you see 12 here, 12, it means that this is a square. Okay, all sides are equal. That's 12 here and also 12 here. So it's a square. Now, using our GED formula sheet, I'm going to leave the link in the video description box of this video for you to get the GED formula sheet. Okay, and uh, also links to summary notes, study guides, and practice question, everything in the video description box, the Facebook group, and also if you're interested in one-on-one -on -one tutoring, I'll leave all links in the video description box. And also, uh, if you're interested in our video crash course, the GED math crash course, you can also check that in all in the description box. So to find the surface area of a pyramid, the formula is half PS. Don't worry, I'll, I'll um, you know explain what PS means. PS plus what B, okay? Where P is the perimeter of the base, okay? The perimeter of the base. This is twelve. This is twelve. I know perimeter of anything is just the summation of all its sides. So the perimeter is twelve plus twelve plus 12 plus 12 just like the perimeter of the square which is 4l okay and that is 4 times 12 and that's 48 if you add up all this also you will get 48 so the perimeter is 48 centimeter then s means the slant height of the pyramid that's what s means the slant height the slant height okay and it is 8 watts meter okay this is why meters so 8 meters okay and b means the base area the big b means the base area here the base is a square so the area of the square is what l times l which is what l square okay so that is uh, 12 what square so that's 12 times 12 and that will give us 144 centimeter square okay uh, so not why am i using centimeter sorry it's meter square okay i'm just used to the centimeter all right Sorry about that. So let's plug this into our, our formula here. So it's half uh, perimeter is 48. That's times 48. The slant height is 8 times 8. Then plus this is what the base base area is 144 meters square. So here we can cancel out 2 would go here and 2 would go in 8 4 times. If we multiply this 48 times 4, you should get 192 and this will be in meter square then plus 144 meter square. When we add this up, we should get 336 meter square. Okay, so this is our answer. This is how we find the surface area of a pyramid. All right, thank you for staying tuned to the end of this video. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Give this video a thumbs up and also share this video. If you have any questions, Please feel free to drop your questions um, in the comment section. And finally, don't forget that Jesus Christ is coming soon. Give your life to Christ, for he is the way. He is the truth. He is the life. He's the one who's going to lead us to heaven at last. And also give us that heaven on earth life. Okay? Where there's success, there's holiness, there's purity. There's love, there's joy, and there's peace in health, okay? So he's going to give us that and also take us to heaven at last where there will be no more sorrows or pain, all right? So uh, he's just asking you to give him a chance for you to open up your heart to him, for him to enter and make things all beautiful in your life, all right? So it's just for you to, you know, just... Um, Turn away from every evil ways and accept him as your personal Lord and Savior. And he will take over for good. All right. Thank you. Thank you uh, for staying till to the end. And I wish you success in your GED test and also in life. You are destined to win.